Now, normally I do wedding anniversaries, but tonight I'm proud to say our own Rick and Sue is celebrating 34 years on air tonight. Congratulations to two of the best in the business. Here's Baz with more. Good on you, Sam. Thank you very much. Well, it is an incredible honour for all of us here at 7 News Perth to have this incredible experience on our news desks each and every night. For the last 34 years, from this day, 34 years ago, Rick and Sue began presenting 7 News and beamed into the homes right around Perth and Western Australia. Now, Rick and Sue, as you know, it is now an unofficial world record. The paperwork has been lobbed with uh, the Guinness Book of Records and hopefully soon it will be made official. The next closest just over 30 years in the US. So it is unprecedented 34 years and the great news for all of us, for us <laughs> working with you and for everybody watching around Perth and Western Australia, nothing's going to change soon. And Baz, you know, I couldn't imagine being anywhere but here with our fantastic team. How lucky are we? That has been wonderful and thank you all so much for joining us every night. We love you all. Wonderful professionals, great integrity, you do such a brilliant job and they are both great people. We're all very lucky to have you thank in you our know. lives, both Thanks professionally for and for everybody at home. And we know you didn't want a big fuss made. <laughs> We've made a little fuss, <laughs> but we thought we might just leave you tonight as we remember 34 great years of Rick and Sue together, a world record, some of their biggest stories and some of their best fashion from over the years. Rick and Sue, congratulations. My partner, Susanna Carr, is on the spot. Hello, everyone. Also tonight... Here in Monte Carlo Grand Prix time. Here at Kensington Palace. You can see here in Jordan. Here at Horse Guards. Live from the town of Whittlesea. Here I am in one of the oldest parts of Moscow. Good evening and welcome also tonight. West Australians urged to boycott it. Susanna joining us live now outside Clermont's Continental Hotel. There's a massive police effort on the streets of our city tonight, a desperate search for 27-year-old Kira Glennon. And on a stormy night in Perth, Susanna joins us live outside Buckingham Palace. We can tell you tonight 25,000 cars have been damaged. Lloyd, Rick Arden from Seven. So Lloyd Rainey has just appeared. Rick Arden is at the FISA Command Centre in Rolleystone. Around 6 o'clock this morning, Perth time, bombs and missiles were dropped. It's been a dramatic end to the siege in Martin Place. Let's go live. Tonight. Terror in America. Hijacked jets used as missiles. What a team. Big congrats, Rick and Sue.